listening to the Experience YouTube channel. I'm Mena and today's video is going to be all about how I've done choreography in lockdown. Now, yes, lockdown is easing in a lot of places, but there are still a lot of rules, regulations and restrictions in place that are stopping us from being able to do everything that we could before. So in this video I'll be addressing how I become and stay inspired for different photography projects and photo shoots. So I hope this video is helpful to lots of people. So let's get into the video. So how do I stay inspired? Well, my main answer is simply Pinterest. I find Pinterest a huge help no matter what you're taking photos of. It's a reliable source and I've used it on more than multiple occasions. You don't want to copy someone else's ideas straight up as that would be plagiarism and you don't want to plagiarise someone's ideas that they've worked really hard on. I personally just use it to find other people's ideas that I like the look of and use them to sprout my own. There is no harm in using someone else's to help create your own as many projects I've made this way by and inspired by using other people's art. The main goal is to make your photos original to you. If you're finding it difficult to gather an audience on social media or if you feel your photography isn't standing out, just think to yourself, are your photos original? For example, say you like taking photos of flowers. Now, there are thousands of people who like taking photos of flowers but how are you going to make yours unique? Try taking photos from a unique angle, or if you'd like to make it more personal, try editing in your own way. Of course, you don't need to do this by yourself. If you'd like to, then go ahead, by all means, if you have the ability. However, many of us may need prompting or a helping hand, myself included. Try Pinterest, other social media accounts, even Google can be helpful. Obviously, you still need to be careful with plagiarism, so don't have right copies to someone else's idea. Embellish it, make it your own. Originality is the key to everything. Play around, have an explore. Now's a better time than any to explore your style. There's so much around the house or in your garden that you can be taking photos of. Also, if you go on any walks, make sure you take your camera. You never know what you might see that would make a good photo. If I can't see a specific subject I want to take a photo of, I just end up taking photos of everything. Play around with angles, use different perspectives. You never know when you'll find a subject that makes an interesting photo. With lockdown rules easing, take this time to practice some socially distant photo shoots with your friends. You could incorporate different objects, maybe a pet, or even use what's naturally around, maybe some foliage or some trees. Take this time to practice using any photography equipment you have. Explore the different settings you can use, depending on your skill level. If you're still using auto mode, try branching out to manual mode by using aperture, shutter speed and ISO. If you're more experienced and are already familiar with these features, Perhaps try and develop your editing skills, discover different ways of image manipulation, or even play around with some colour theory. Some of my favourite apps to edit with are the free versions of Photoshop and Lightroom you can get on your phone. However, if you're just starting out with editing and still trying to get to grips with it, then the built-in editors on your photo galleries work perfectly fine. I will be doing a future video on different photo editing apps you can get so make sure you look out for that. I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully it can help you with your photography. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the Teenagers with Experience YouTube channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!